Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own Greek meander pattern. Uh, meander is this type of Greek pattern that you see around many borders of a lot of Greek artwork. Now we're going to be using a pattern brush to do this and it's really simple and really cool. So we're going to go to view first and then show grid. And then we'll go to view and we're going to snap to grid. Now everything that we produce will be snapped to one of these grid points. Then we're going to use our pen tool, make sure we have no fill and a stroke of about maybe three. Let's reproduce this pattern right here. So we click here, go one, two, three, four, five points up, then three, four, five points across, go four down, then three, two, one, and then we're just going to follow this outwards, just like that. Now we've produced our pattern. Now we're going to create a line that goes from the top, we'll shift to here, and a line at the base, like that. Then we're going to select our shape and we're going to go to object and expand the fill and the stroke. Great. Now we're going to extend this shape here out so, oh, before we do that, we have to go to view actually, and we're going to remove snap to grid, this is important. Okay. After doing that, we select our shape and we make sure that it is parallel to this line right here, like that, good. Then we're going to create a small box that's the same width as this white space like this. And this is just going to be a placeholder. And we're going to extend this line to the end of that box. And we're going to press A, select these points, hold shift to their line of that box. And we're going to select this line and move it out to there like that. We're also going to press A and hold this, and make sure that it extends down to there. Great. And then we're going to select this box, we're going to delete it and that's fine. The reason we did that is because a pattern brush is going to make a pattern of everything within this square. And we want that this white space also appears on this side. So having done that, we select our object. We go to our brushes panel and we click and we hold and we drag it into there and we choose a pattern brush. Press OK. Now, all you have to do is make sure that the scale is at 100%. Colorization mode will go to tints and it will be original, stretch to fit. That's all. Press OK. Now, our brush will be the newest one down here. To see what it looks like, all you have to do is create a shape. Make sure that has no fill, like that and then click on your brush. And there you see, we have our basic Miatum pattern. Now what we don't have is these corner pieces right here. And that's because we have to make special corner tiles for that. And that's gonna be this tile right here. So to make one of those, we're just gonna select our object. Let's move it a bit to the side right here. We're gonna press Alt and Shift, move it like that. And then we're gonna rotate it by 90 degrees in this direction. And we're gonna click and we're gonna hold and move it so it intersects right there. So that is this tile that you see right here. So we need to build the tile that goes in here. Unfortunately, that's pretty easy. All we do is we select our object right here, we press Alt, and let's bring it up. And we want so that this line right here corresponds to that one, I believe. Let's see, let's see. Okay, so now, Actually, yeah, that's okay. Okay, so now we're gonna extend the borders out so that they're the same height like that. Oops. We're gonna do the same over here with this. Good, so now our object has a good border. We're gonna extend this downwards to here so it touches. We're gonna use this line right here and also extend it downwards so it touches right there and this we're going to bring it up to here like that we're going to use this as a hold shift and bring it to there like that and then we just have to make a small box right here so we make a small box that size great so this is our corner piece now all we have to do is we select all of our objects that we made in here just like that. Be sure not to select this line right here. And then you click 
and hold Alt, and you bring it to this square right here, like that. And now you're gonna see that this custom shape appears right here, and this has now become a corner piece. Again, keep the same settings and press OK. And it's gonna ask us, do you want to apply it to the brushes out here? We say yes, apply it to our strokes. Then, let's just move this out of the way. If we move up, we see, if I get rid of this, this is our meander. And it's perfect and nice and seamless. And this is really cool because you can make this along any custom shape or any circle, for instance. So we hold an ellipse, draw an ellipse, we can apply our meander to it, and we see this seamless meander that goes around our entire circle. And that's all it takes to make this pattern. It's really cool. You can obviously make this into any other pattern that you want, but yeah, there you go. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, write them in the comments below. If you have any comments, write them in the comments below as well. Hit the like button, subscribe if you really like this video, check out our other videos, of course, and as always, have a great day.